guys, thanks for tuning in today's drive-by. It's about 83 degrees. Uh, it's a late one tonight. It's 717. Uh, I'm on the I-75 going northbound towards Sarasota, Florida. And uh, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I really wanted to bring up uh, a little subject here. Um, and it's really strange. Uh, really, I have to say, my first two... Like, I would say, you know, competition or um, shit hits the fan guns was an FNP 45 tactical and a 5.7 black one with adjustable sights. And it's really weird. I, I sold my FNP 45 and I bought a SIG because I thought the SIG might be a little bit better. And the SIG was nice, it was heavier, but I always, in the back of my mind, liked that FNP 45 because the high rise sights, all the double action, all the safeties on it. Threaded barrel, you know. I always liked it in the capacity 15 plus one, uh, but I said the heck with it. And uh, I think I had a Glock and a XDS and some other guns. And then I had a 5.7, and I ended up selling my 5.7 because I needed the money, and, and I blew the money in something really stupid, which was a waste of time. And I didn't have the 5.7, and I always wanted a 5.7. So I was looking online and stuff, and I seen one guy that was selling an FNP 45. Now my, they make the FNX 45, and the FNP 45 right now is kind of kind of rare to get it. And mine was a stainless steel mat on a slide, which they only made 300 of that gun in that FNP 45. Uh, and it happened to have one, and I called the guy and I met him. And when I met him, he didn't remember me, but I remembered him. And it was the same guy I sold the FNP 45. To, uh, like a year previous to. So I ended up buying it back and actually bought the gun for the same price I bought when I bought it new. So that was pretty cool. And I didn't pay a lot for it when I first bought it. But I had sold another gun and I had the money to buy it, so I bought it. Uh, so now I'm thinking about uh, selling another gun. I'm thinking about selling my SIG. I mean, actually, if the deal works out, it'll be done. And Because uh, I, I never really used the SIG that much. It's a, a SIG, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful guns. But I got two other 45s. So I really don't need it. And I'd rather have the uh, 5.7. So I'm going to sell my SIG and get a 5.7. Another one. Trading, getting away from it again. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be another trade that I'm going to be doing. But, uh, you know, uh, they're both good guns. This, you know, the 5.7 and the FNP. and uh, You know, I think it really just depends on the person. You know, uh, if you're into it, you kind of got to be into that particular gun and like it. Uh, now, there's a lot of other nice guns out there. Granted, uh, you know, I'm not downsizing or downgrading any guns. And however much money you have, money's hard to come by. And guns are very expensive. It's fine. I mean, Glock makes a lot of nice guns. Uh, Car makes some. There's some Caltex. There's Taurus. There's Ruger. Uh, even High Point. You know, if you don't, if something's better than nothing. There's a lot of nice little guns around. So I'm not uh, by any means. I'm just saying, if you have the means available, uh, and I had to sell a few guns. Don't get me wrong. So I traded it and sold. I'm just getting back to the gun that I had. I don't need like three 45s, so I would rather get rid of one of the 45s, the most expensive one, and get a 5.7. Because then I'll have a 45, I'll have a 5.7, you know, you know, uh, and a few other different guns. I don't need five of one guns. You know, it's really crazy when people go out and they get a, they'll get an H&K 45, and then they'll buy an H&K 45 Tactical, and then they'll buy an H&K uh, 45 Compact, and then they'll buy a USP, an h &K USP 45, and a USP Compact, and, and all that stuff. I mean, it's all the same gun. The features are 99% the same. You don't need five of them. Because then the thing is, they sit in the safe and never fire. I'd rather have, you know, one of each gun, uh, you know, something I really like. And uh, if you spend the right amount of money when you're buying them, trading other guns for them, then the sellability are really good. But I just wanted to uh, bring that back about the FMP 45 and the 
357. I really think those are two guns that probably should be on anybody's list. Only reason because the FNP 45 or the Tactical, it doesn't really matter, or the FNS, FNX 45, uh, high capacity guns, double action, everything, uh, you know, dual safeties, dual decockers, dual magazine releases. Really, really nice guns. Uh, and, uh, you know, you just when you buy it, you're not going to add a lot of stuff. To it. Maybe uh, add a set of night sights. That's you know maybe a, a, a laser or a tag light. But you really, really have to add more than that because it has everything you need already on the gun. So uh, feature-wise, and you can find them used. But uh, I think really a great addition is the 57 and the FNP 45 Tactical or the FNX 45 Tactical or the FNX 45. Uh, for those people that don't want to have a tactical or an FMP 45. The only difference is the FMP 45 is the older model, and the FMP, uh, the FNX 45 is the newer model. They made a few minor changes and stuff like that, but there's not much to be a, really a buying decision. It's just like with anything, it's a new model. Okay, so thanks a lot, but one thing they did do, they don't make a stainless matte one in the FNX anymore. And the tactical, only in like the regular, uh, the regular models, but not tactical. Thanks a lot, and uh, I just wanted to say that. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put um, some links in my video here, and you can click on to see a 5.7, and to click, and you can see an FNX 45, and you can see an FNP 45 tactical. Kind of get a that I have, I think, a side-by-side -side review here on one of my links I'm going to have in my video. So uh, just click on any of these links that are out, and they will take you to some of the uh, descriptions and some of the uh, comparisons of those particular guns. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning into my drive-by, and uh, God bless.